Here we go again, y'all, with this ultra woke, extra sensitive, oh so racist, false MAGA narrative that this lady goes off the rails over a hat. And it's people like this lady you're about to watch is exactly the reason why our society can't just come together and be grateful for the blessings that America represents because they're constantly lashing on to this past pessimistic state of mind. See for yourself. Your freedom of speech is genocide, homeboy. It doesn't matter. Is that what you're trying My to represent? My freedom of speech allows me to wear that hat as much as I, I want. You see Riverside embroiled in controversy just days into the school year. An ugly argument broke out between a pro-Trump student and another who stole his hat. CBS 2's Tom Waite has the viral video and the fallout. The student who recorded this now viral video says he wants his freedom of speech protected and the woman who stole his hat punished. You stole my property, my Make America Great Again hat. A UC Riverside student recorded this video of a woman who snatched his pro-President Trump hat. Look at the kind of he's wearing. Look it. The two go at it back and forth. The ugly confrontation ends up in the student services office. You know what this represents? This represents genocide. I understand. Genocide of a bunch of people. And look at what he's wearing in me, front me, of a group of people. This is mine. Yeah. This is mine. You do not get to take other people's property that is legally theirs in this country. Matthew Vitali is the student who recorded the video. He says his hat was taken at a student organization retreat on campus. Everything was fine until this girl came and walked up to me and literally just went like that, took the hat. The woman who stole the hat identifies herself on social media as Edith Macias. She posted her own video of herself grabbing the hat and even running off. You can see Matthew giving chase. University officials say the video is disappointing. I want all of our students to be able to express their opinions. Just because someone says something you don't like, they have a right under the Constitution to, to express that opinion. The majority of people of color in this campus and you let people wear it, walk around and wear this Matthew got his hat back and police were called. I respect her opinion. She has her opinion and it is informed by whatever sources and whatever information and whatever life experience she's had. That's okay. I have my opinion. That should be okay too. And we did reach out via social media to the woman in that video and we have not heard back. Ah, yes. Another shining example of the loving, liberal, peaceful left, y'all. She said that this freedom of speech is genocide, homeboy. I guess this homeboy, myself, represents the bad side as well because as a part Irish, black, and Native American man, I absolutely loved the low gas prices and secure borders that Donald Trump helped with as leader of the free world. So count me in. So I'm just curious, does this freedom hat that I'm rocking with the soaring eagle, does it also represent a mass killing of people based on their ethnicity, melanin, or lack thereof? Or could it possibly mean that I honor and cherish those men and women of all ethnicities who fought and died for the luxuries that were we're afforded every single day that many people I'm assuming like this young woman right here take for granted. It, it wasn't just European white dudes fighting for the red, white, and blue. It was people of all different multiple ethnic backgrounds. So that, that gave us these rights. So I assume you'd rather me rock a cap that says communism rules or slavery saves. Absolutely not. What get rid of this wonky way of thinking. It's ridiculous. I have to wonder just a hypothetical. If it wasn't a white dude wearing this hat, would she have snatched it? Would she even say, uh, said a thing if it was a black dude, a Native American, a Middle Eastern, Indian, or Chinese person, I can almost bet she'd turn the other cheek. But that's right, it, white man bad narrative. It's quick to get pulled when you disagree with somebody else's viewpoint. When their viewpoint hurts your feelings, you don't have a backbone, or, or you just don't agree with, with their stance. But we're, we live in America. We're entitled that right to practice the religion that we want to, to say what we want to, to, to not harm other people and, and snatch and try to steal their property just because you feel a certain type of way because you got all sensitive and upset. When, when in this way, you want to pull that uh, white man bad or racist narrative when it's completely uncalled for and inaccurate. I don't like the fact that when she said the hat represented genocide, he said, I understand. That's the moment where you got to stand firm and deliver your belief system. That's when you got to stand firm and dish out the facts because facts don't care about feelings. So when he said that, I said, no, nope, no, sir, er, incorrect. None of us, myself and Donald Trump and many of y'all that would rock the MAGA hat or shirt as well, none of us think that America was great when we, we were at war with anybody else. Not at all. It's a patriotic slogan that when I hear it, to me, it symbolizes the freest country in the entire world, the best country in the entire world. And again, you could disagree with me all you want, but the same country that people flee from all over the world to try and enter legally and illegally, 
at the same time, people somehow say it's also the, the center of racism and horrible. But how? Someone please tell me how America is so tremendously awful. I'll wait. What's wrong with you people? It's absolutely not. And as liberal Looney Tunes like this that paint the wrong picture and or the problem with today's woke culture and society that we're living in. They have no discernment, seems to be no connected brainstem or or we don't want to logically consider how America has progressed and repented of past sin. We all got things in the past in the closet or things that we've have overcame, repented of, asked for forgiveness of. Some of y'all don't know God, don't fear God. Y'all gonna have to get right with them before judgment day. But things that we've dealt with that we've moved past and we need to focus on the things we can control today. I never held a slave. I probably have ancestors that were slaves. Matter of fact, we all got the same two ancestors originated. All nations were created from one man, Adam and then came Eve from his rib when he was in a deep sleep. So you got to know that fact. If you don't know your facts, then you're going to latch on to any way of thinking, any false rhetoric that anybody paints. And you have to realize that you and I are able to wake up each day and we're blessed to breathe in God's beautiful creations. Like people don't understand that. But the sheer fact that you're here, that you can watch me, that you can say what you want and you live in America, that's an absolute godsend. And you got to pray for her to find gratitude and peace. And all of these people that are convinced that America is bad and the white man is is bad pray for him y'all i did some digging and this just goes to show you that white man ain't bad that this young man had the opportunity to press charges on this young woman she was charged with a misdemeanor for petty theft and he said it was actually the school's fault for not handling the situation accordingly he didn't ruin this girl's life he could have really messed it up and made her serve up to a year in prison for this sort of petty crime but he didn't because he doesn't hold on to this sort of anger. He had the compassion and the, the simple act of forgiveness that hopefully she latches on to and it allows her to change her way of thinking and change the tide so she doesn't hold on to such past resentment and she can move forward. So pray for her, pray for this country, and pray for this world, y'all, that they realize the blessings that we've been given. If you don't know the love of Jesus Christ, then you're doing it all wrong. If you're not walking in righteousness and salvation, you need to change things up because we're all going to die someday. We're also all going to live forever as well. We're going to either live forever in eternal peace and salvation in heaven or eternal damnation in hell. That's what it's going to be. So we're all going to face that judgment day. You need to change the course if you're not living your life accordingly. And the way she's acting, basing her opinions on the way somebody wears a hat or what they choose to believe in that wasn't satanic by any means. It's jacked up. So you people need to really look in the mirror and have a, a personal accountability reflection and ask yourself, is this really how I want to represent Christ? Is this really how I want to represent myself and my family? If you don't believe in Christ, this ain't it. Nobody with a right way of thinking with a logical mindset is going to think that this is OK. Just lashing out, going absolutely nuts and bat, you know what, crazy over a hat. It's ridiculous. You're entitled your right to believe what you believe, practice what you practice, push whatever rhetoric that you want, just like I am. It, just like I'm allowed to praise the Lord and claim that Jesus is Lord and Savior changed my life. And I can say America's great. I love the red, white, and blue. Wouldn't want to live in any other country in the world. God gave us all free will, but you got to be held accountable for your actions. And luckily, this young man had forgiveness in his heart and didn't hold her accountable for this. But let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Let's keep this conversation rolling. I appreciate y'all showing up today. If you got any value, any laughs, whatever you got from this video, don't forget to smash that like button subscribe if you're not already tap that notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a video just in case youtube forgets to let you know if you want to take it a step further you like what i'm doing over here you can always support by buying the shirts you see me wearing made by my lovely wife this one says pray she's got a bunch more over on her etsy store american all sorts of bible verses everything that i know if you like this video you'll definitely like to rock those as well all different sizes petite teat small to big big and hefty 5x and we got tumblers now available as well so definitely go check that out all support links are down below in the description as always. Until next time, I love y'all. I'm praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.